Hey guys, welcome back to Packet Rift. In this video, we'll see how to configure the IPv4 and the IPv6 address on the Juniper and the Cisco device interface. So let's get started. So as you see, uh, Juniper and the Cisco router is connected back to back as per our previous topology, you know, which we did in our previous video for the configuration of host name, uh, SSH and the user account. We'll be using the same topology here. So Cisco is connected on Ethernet 00, 0 and the Juniper is connected on Gigi Ethernet uh, 0, 0, 0. So Gigi 0 slash 0 slash 0. So let's see how the command line differences are there to configure the IP addresses on both the router. So let's start with the CLI. So this one is the Juniper router and this one is the Cisco router. So let's configure Ethernet 00 interface and see what are the command to configure the IP on Ethernet 00. So configure and oh sorry enable enable configure T. So go to interface first that is Ethernet 0 slash 0 give IP space address 19 uh, let's configure 100 dot 1.1.2 slash of uh, here we have to specify the mask 255.255.255.252 so this is slash 30 i'm configuring now go to juniper router so for juniper router the commands are different uh, than this sco router we have to go to the configuration mode and then go to on uh, this particular interface set interface or we can do even on the interface level we don't have to go inside the interface like we go um, in cisco so set interface ge 0 slash 0 slash 0 unit slash 0 so here uh, we have to configure like family inet inet is nothing but for ip v4 it is using so inet address and uh, We'll be configuring the IP on the same subnet. So 100.1.1.1.1 slash 30. Unlike uh, Cisco, we can specify the subnet mask as a slash. So here it is. And uh, without writing the uh, configuration in Juniper, we won't be able to uh, save it. So we have to write it with the commit command. Commit. So we can validate the configuration, show configuration interface G00 display set. So as we configure the IP address here, now we can we can try to pin the neighbor IP that is 192, uh, sorry, 100.1.1.2. And the source IP is 100.1.1.1. So it's pinging. So yeah, the connectivity is up. So as we saw the difference in the IPv4 configuration, now to configure the ipv6 we'll see the how ipv6 is getting configured on the juniper interface and the cisco interface to configure the ipv6 we have to enable the ipv6 unicast routing in cisco router so to do that go to global mode uh, the global configuration mode ipv6 unicast routing so this will enable the ipv6 capability of cisco router now go to interface uh, in which interface we want to configure IPv6. So we have to configure the IPv6 on the same interface that is Ethernet 0 slash 0. So go to Ethernet 0 slash 0 IPv6 address and then this IP. So this is getting configured here now we are already in configuration mode in juniper so to configure the ipv6 on juniper interface we have to uh, go to the interface set interface g00 which interface under which interface you want to configure the ipv6 address so g00 unit 0 family previously we took family inet here we have to take family inet 6 for ipv6 then address then 
its IP. So other IP slash 2 slash 64. This is the IPv6 address. Uh, in Cisco we use 3.3 and here we'll be using 2. So and uh, without the configuration as we saw uh, in Juniper we are not able to save the configuration in the running configuration. So for that we have to do the commit which is, it is unlike Cisco whereas Cisco we have to we can even without the uh, putting the right command it is already getting saved once you enter the hit the enter. So to test this run ping we have to use run because we are inside the configuration mode. Inside the configuration mode or uh, the, con the commands which are outside the configuration mode are not getting used or we cannot use those commands inside the configuration mode. So we have to use run before using those commands. So we'll be pinging the other Cisco IP that is this one IPv6 and the source of Juniper routers IPv6 address. So this is getting pinged. So this is how we configure the interfaces IPv6 address and IPv4 address on Cisco router and Juniper router. And these are the command line difference on both the routers. Thanks for watching.